Yo, what's going on guys? Jared here today. I have another deck profile for you post the February ban list. Um, like I said, I'm going to be making more of these this week. So just stay tuned, subscribe for more because I'm just going to be putting a bunch of deck profiles up of different stuff that you can try going into this next list. Um, now this list is going to be dinosaurs clearly, as you can see on the screen. This is something that I don't think a lot of people are talking about, but I think is very impactful. And when I say that, you might think why. Um, well, we obviously know the popularity of Book of Eclipse in the format. Well, an archetype that has a in-engine Book of Eclipse in the form of UTC as a quick effect seems really good against a lot of decks right now, especially when paired with something like Miscellaneousaurus where they can't really interact with the card, right? So this is a very, very strong contender in this deck, and the fact that they got this busted-ass True King card back to three, um, I think this might be a time where we can see Dinosaur really shine again. Um, do I know for sure? No, but it's something that is at least worth trying in my opinion. Um, so I'm going to go through the deck list card by card and do a little explanations like I always do, and I hope you guys enjoy. Um, so starting off, we have two copies of Archosaur. It is a starter, but it is not something you want to draw. You would much rather be using your normal summon on something like Oviraptor. Um, three copies of Baby Sarasaurus, and I'll include the two Petite here. There was a time where I was trying three Petite with the three, but it's still the ratios. You still want to draw too many of them. A lot of the times you still find yourself only wanting to draw one of this card at tops, like, like one baby in tops rather than two of them with the Witho. Um, it's pretty rare where you actually get that scenario. When it does, it's super explosive, but um, yeah, you just don't need that many of it. Uh, and then we have one copy of Pankratops. This is obviously a great dinosaur generic card. And you, it's not completely dead if you draw it with Fenrir going second because Pankratops, you have to control, your opponent has to control more monsters than you do. And going second, they probably do. So if you have Fenrir plus Pank, you can still go like Fenrir search and then special Pank after. So it's not too, too bad. Um, one giant Rex, I think, is, you know, a staple in the uh, dinosaur strategy. Three copies of Fenrir. This card is still crazy. I just feel like in every deck you should play it. It combos with the Withosagem as being a free special and then being another earth monster that you search right after. And if you have like Withosagem baby in hand, that's still full combo. Like it just seems so good. Like, like honestly, like, this card is just nuts. So I think every deck just, I, I would probably say like 80 to 90% of the decks just should be playing this card. I swear. Um, the, obviously the one copy miscellaneous source, the last card that is still on the ban list for this deck after this. Um, we already went over the petites. I am playing a little scrap package. I am still iffy on this, just because, you know, drawing the Scrap Chimera obviously sucks in this deck. You don't want to brick on it. But having the in the synergy with Raptor and the babies and fossil digs and stuff like that, and the destruction is obviously really good. Um, I think that makes this engine worth it. Uh, it really, really does. Um, there is, like, more combos. You get more extensions. You can go into more stuff. You have more options. It's just it's stuff that... Um, I'm not a master dino duelist, right? But I know that this adds another layer of combos, being a tuner, so you can make something like Savage Dragon and stuff like that, um, adding extra bodies for more rank 4 potential as well. There's, there's a lot of options you can go with this. Um, so yeah, this this I kept it small. I didn't want to do a big, big scrap package, so this should be good enough for now. Um, obviously, three copies of Ovi Raptor. This card is nutso. Um, three copies of True King with Osage. We just got this card back to three. And just in case you don't remember, obviously destroying two cards in your hand, including babies, is great. As one has to be an Earth. But the important part to me, not important, but you know, something that should not be forgotten about, is that you can destroy if you destroy two Earths, you can look at three cards in your opponent's extra deck and banish them. They just have to have different names. Um, that is huge against a lot of strategies. So for instance, if you play against a tier player who is still trying to make the deck work. Um, this is something that could be super devastating. Them just ripping all the one of fusions out of the way um, is huge and could be a catastrophe for a lot of decks. So they're not prepared for this. They're prepared for Diabolo. So this is something that could be a super heavy hitter um, and catch a lot of people off guard. And then lastly, we have two copies of UTC. This is my favorite part about this deck, just because I think this card is crazy right now. Going into the next format, I think this card is nuts. So I'm excited to see how this card will perform moving forward. Um, for the spells, we have three copies of Book of Eclipse, because Book of Eclipse plus UTC, that's a, that's a combo. You can just kill a lot of people with that, especially when you have something like Pentastag in the extra deck. That could just be OTK for a lot of strategies. Um, and then obviously going second, and then, you know, very, very helpful. <clears throat> and like in a disruption form as well. Um, two copies of Pill, because obviously Pill gets the UTC. One diagram to get the Lithosagem, and is obviously can destroy the babies. Um, three Fossil Dig, three Rota, not once per turn for this deck is crazy. Three Lost World, this is helps combo extend our starter and helps. It also stops like 
uh, the like targeting for a lot of decks and giving your a Kashira opponent a Dino token is also really good right now. So like if this isn't just like a combo extender and starter, like giving them that token is also very relevant because if you put all your stuff in defense, um, they they can't really do anything, right? And if they try to attack it and check crash it, even if they do, right? If you have a link monster and check crashing it, you can protect it with Lost World too. So like it really puts Kashira in an awkward spot sometimes with this card. So something you got to keep in mind when you know with the, how the format's going to adapt and be Kashira. Um, three products prosperity because this deck can play it. You don't your extra deck's important, but um, you you have it more options, not like. Not you're not uh, like you don't do this big combo and using a million extra deck cards. You know you have options of what you want to do, um, and then the one terraforming for either diagram or lost world. I was considering set rotation. I did have it in here in my original list, and I decided to cut it because your your uh, your field spells aren't starters, right? It's not like tier where like you can get like you can go like the the uh, the new planet for Kashira to get the uh, Fenrir, then Fenrir get tier cash, and then go into that combo line with the two level sevens. Um, or it's not like getting the the tier field spell to be able to search for like Rhino and then dump, you know, like do a whole line there. The, these field spells operate differently than that. They are more facilitative towards combos and you need other cards to make them good on like the, the tier limit field spell. So that's why I don't think you need set rotation in this deck specifically. Um, moving on to the extra deck. Um, I am playing the rank nine package. So I am playing the Trishula and I'm going to pair this with the other, if the rank nines that I'm playing with it which is the generator exceeds I'm playing both of them the old one which you know this doesn't really come up it's okay you know you draw cards it's it's decent it's not great but you're really playing it for the the new generator link um not link exceed monster being a quick effect to be able to tribute it take your opponent's cards and then attach them to this one to the new one as i'm sorry tribute the new one and then special the old one and then attach the two cards your opponent contro controls or in their graveyard under the the uh, old one is crazy as a quick effect um it's i don't even think it targets like it's so nuts how crazy this card is i think it's very this is a very swept under the rug card in Floats on Hypernova, and I think it's something that you should have in your collection as at least one of with the old one, just in case rank nine. Because this is the best rank nine now by far, so this is something to really consider um, in you know rank nine strategies. Um, and then yeah, moving forward after that, we have the one Savage Dragon because we have the little scrap package and Scrap Raptors a tuner, so you can go into something like Savage Dragon and re-equip the Scrap Wyvern. Um, one copy of Zeus. Zeus is just an option. It's not something you're going to be gunning for. So, like, your deck already has UTC, so you don't need Zeus to clear a board most of the time unless you're going against a back row deck specifically. And if you're going against a back row deck specifically, your extra deck's not going to get ripped out, so you don't need to worry about playing a second Zeus anyway. So, that's just my opinion on that. Um, two, uh, Dolkas. Dolkas is still a hell of a card. I'm still 50-50 on Loggy or Dolkia just because of how Kashtira operates, right? Because if they go, like, you need Dolka plus another guy and like, because if they summon a guy, you have to UTC, book it down. Um, or else they can just beat over Dolka and it doesn't, like, accomplish anything if they go, like, Fenrir attack over. Um, yeah, so that's just something to keep in mind again. One Wagia for now. These are probably interchangeable, like, what, two to one or one to two. It's up to you. Uh, we well, already went over the generators. One copy of Kashtir Arise Heart. This might catch you off guard, but, um, so this is, like, a really random interaction, but it's actually really cool and something to keep in mind. So if your opponent activates Kashtir Shangri La, on their on your standby phase um to special summon a Fenrir, a, a uh, Kashtira from the deck or if they block out a zone on your turn um either or you can uh and you special summon your Fenrir you can actually summon a rise heart over your own Fenrir to be able to to summon it it's free you get a free exceed summon over a, a, a Fenrir because a rise heart does not care where the Shangri La was activated it only cares um that one was activated on the field. So it, it doesn't matter if your opponent activated the Shangri-La or if you activated the Shangri-La, you can, you can do that. So you can go Fenrir if they've activated one, summon um, a Rise Heart and then attack and then go into Zeus right after and Zeus the board. So that is the purpose for that line. But it is, um, yeah, it's just very, very cool and something different that I think is should be mentioned at least. So I think most people should have at least one Rise Heart too. For competitively speaking, just for that line, I think that's very, very good. Moving on to Link Monsters, we have one Appaloosa just because it's a good card to end on. This There might be other options for this, but uh, this is for now, this is fine. We got to see where the format goes and what other Link 4s or Link 3s could be used. Uh, one copy of Lingaribo. This is for Ibli. If people start giving over Iblis, we are prepared. We can use the Lingaribo to get rid of it. And then we also have other cards to clear it anyway. We also have like Dragonic Diagram and Book of Eclipse to clear it. Um, so yeah. One copy of Link Karibo because of Arcosaur and then going into Secure Garna for both of these so that we can get a non-dinosaur in the graveyard and then we can use our evolution pill. 
Pentastag because Pentastag plus UTC or Book of Eclipse um, this can just be an OTK completely. Um, it just completely end the game by itself. And then Scrap Wyvern for the Scrap Combo, obviously. And like um, being able to get that extra pop is very relevant. And this whole deck is actually very good going second when you can play all during your main phase one and uh, under a card like Miscellaneous Source and then try to get out a UTC with stuff like Fenrir and Pancratops as well with the True Kings popping everything and the Book of Eclipses and not targeting from Lost World. You have a lot of cards going for you that are very good going second. And then you can even threaten Zeus plays in this deck as well. So I think you have a lot of good options for going second in this deck and it is not to be trifled with and it can make some pretty crazy going first boards as well. So... I hope you guys enjoyed the deck profile. This is something different that I haven't seen a lot of people talk about really, and is something I wanted to share and give a little more light to. So I hope you guys, again, enjoyed it. Um, if you liked anything or you want to change anything, that you have any suggestions for other people, put them down in the comments below for others to see. And um, overall, I hope to be making more deck profiles this week, and I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Bye, guys.